Okie dokie artichokey. We are here and we are ready for another assignment. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, I've been checking out this new thing that's come around here recently called Zentangles. Oh my gosh. Zentangles has to be one of the most intricate little detailed patterned art that I have seen in a long 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 time I mean you can spend hours on one small section of your paper just getting that detailed and pattern right um, it's just ridiculous how cool it is I really love it and it's about time that we brought it to Pinson Elementary. It's about time. It's about time. So we're going to get some Zentangles started here today. So first we're going to have our sheet of paper here. Um, we want to separate or actually section off this page because I, I want at least four. I want like four Zentangled patterns. So that's one. Like if we fold the one we got two. So, so let's do it one more time. One more time. Now we're going to use these Zentangles here to draw something specific a little bit later, but I would like you to plan out the Zentangle pattern that you're gonna use on your drawing later on, okay? Plan out that pattern now, and um, we're gonna know exactly what we're doing in our drawing later, okay? So now we have four sections, and we're gonna do four different Zentangle type patterns. Now, first off, I think I just want to, I'm going to do a couple of diagonal lines. There's a lot of Zentangle patterns that start with diagonal lines. Um, this is going to be really neat. I can't wait to see what it actually looks like when we get finished with the whole page here. It's going to be awesome. So, almost finished with my diagonal lines for this particular section. Okay, and then I think I wanna jazz it up a little bit. You know, that looks too simple to me. I wanna jazz this thing up. Let's jazz it up with what else? Wavy lines. You know I love some wavy lines. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna start right in the center and at each diagonal, I'm gonna wave the other way. Yeah, and I'm just going to draw a line, wavy line, <laughs> kind of a wavy straight line all the way to the other diagonal corner like that. That's really easy, right? All right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to draw diagonal wavy lines throughout the whole thing that matches that. It's gonna match it. So let's do another wavy line, and I'm gonna match that wavy line curve for curve, right? Curve for curve, I'm gonna match that line. I'm gonna to try to keep the distance between these two lines the same all the way through. Let's see, I'm gonna to do this throughout the whole thing, then you can come back when I'm done and see what it looks like when I'm finished with it. And we are done with it. There we go. We got it done, what do you think? That's a nice pattern. Do we need to add something else to it? Eh, I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. All right, let's go to another section. Let's go to another section. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think I wanna do spirals. I like spirals. What do you think about that? And then on the back of this spiral, I can put another spiral like that. And then on the back of this spiral, I can do another spiral. Like that. I think I'm going to spiral this whole section. Why not? This would be a really nice design for the drawing that we're going to draw a little while later. Some of my spirals I'm going to the right and some of my spirals I'm going to the left. It doesn't matter. This is my pattern, and I will spiral how I wanna. <laughs> and now, what do you say? 
I have two sections completely done. And guys, we're going to pick two different patterns or two more different patterns and we're going to fill these in. And, and this is going to be great. I think you're going to have a wonderful time. Wonderful time with this. Just take your time. Do your best. And I can't wait to see how those patterns turn out. I'm going to get back to mine. I'm going to get back to mine. This is going to be fun. Oh, oh, I guess I need to stop. This is what we're doing today. And I would like for you to go and have fun. <laughs> I know I'm about to. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. All right. So you caught me prepping for the next lesson. Um, you can see I'm going to go in a different direction. Uh, with this particular Zentangles lesson, we, we were adding, and I alluded to this in the video, right? I alluded to this in the video where we're adding something else to the Zentangle thing, and I was working on that. Um, um, so this is a little behind the scenes. You saw me working on that. But let's say you wanted to do a standalone Zentangles lesson, then, you know, you can use whatever shapes you want. I, I, I rolled in some footage of... Um, the circles when they had those little circles and I thought that was so neat and you guys can do that um, in your classrooms I found you get yourself a sheet of paper here and I know I don't know if you noticed but most of the Zentangles are in black ink um, I actually had a couple of questions hey mr. P mr. P can we use some colors can we use different colors well yeah maybe a little bit later yeah, a little bit later, we're going to do some, some authentic Zentangles with just the black and the white, right? Okay, so that's what I uh, told my kids. And, and, and as you can see, it does look great after you make your tangles in pencil. Going back over it with like a Sharpie marker or something like that makes it pop. Doesn't it pop out at you, right? I haven't even finished with this, but you can definitely tell the difference between what's in pencil and what's in that Sharpie marker, right? I mean, it, it looks really good. It looks really good. Anyway, so let's say you want to do a standalone lesson. Well, hey, grab yourself something to make some circles, man. I just You can get a cup if you want to have a cup. You can turn it over and draw outside the lines. But hey, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I found like a cookie cutter works best. Your hand down there so it doesn't move. And then get yourself, it, and you know what? It don't even have to be a Sharpie. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie. You just, just a regular old marker, right? Regular old black marker. And let's trace around it. And I just found that's been like the easiest thing to do. I mean, that's just like the easiest thing to do, right? Trace around it. Call it a day. Now you have two circles to zentangle inside of. If you want to start out with the pencil, you can. But you really don't have to. You don't have to. You can just zentangle inside the circles. So let's do it. I'm going to do something kind of big. So it doesn't take up too much time here. Just zentangle whatever you want. Then I'm going to hop on top of that one. And then I'm going to hop on top of that one. Then hop and hop and hop until I run completely out of space. Isn't that neat? That's like super simple too, right? Super duper simple. All right, and then let's see. Uh, Let's do, the, let's do the other one that I like. This this one this one was really cool. I'm just going to do a um, really nice gridded pattern. And this is, this, is, this is just for you guys on YouTube because I love you so much. I love you. I just love you so much. Yeah, I do. I do indeed. So let's, let's do a really simple gridded pattern. Really easy, right? And then I can go back and add a few things. Why not? You can add some stuff. This has been one of my favorite ones to do. I want to go back and put some dots right there. You can, you can research them. You can research Zentangle patterns and see what people have come up with. Or you can just make your own up. I don't see why not. You can just make your own up. The only rule is it has to be a pattern. That's it. You have to do some type of repetitive patterned type motion. That's the only rule. I mean, how much simpler can you get? That's, that's, that's super, super simple. All right, so let me finish this up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm done. Whoop, whoop. Almost finished. Just one more little section here to go. But, you know, it's, 
It's just really cool. You're going to really love it. You're going to really love this. There's something calming about this, this type of art. I mean, these repetitive movements with the pencil or this, in this case, um, marker that you do over and over again, repetitive structured patterning. I mean, it's, it's something that happens that, that you can't really, you can't really put your finger on, but as you go and work through these patterns, you get this calming type of effect. It's, it's almost therapeutic. I mean, you look at that. That looks great, doesn't it? It looks awesome. And of course, I can add something to here if I wanted to. I could. I could. But um, this is great. You're gonna you're gonna really love how you feel when you do this. It's it's very calming. It's very soothing. And um, I'm glad I added this to, to the end of the video. Yeah, we're, we're going to go in another direction. If you're interested, you can go ahead and, and um, check out part two of this video. But um, if Zentangles is all you want, all you need is something to kind of section your paper off. You know, a, a, a space, define a space to draw your tangles inside of. And then just get to it, man. Just have a wonderful time with this. You, you're going to really enjoy it. I think you will. I think you will. Okay? So, uh, this is uh, what we're doing today. You know, wait a minute. I've already done this. Bye-bye. <laughs>